What is going on you guys, it's Little Game Boy 5 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Far Cry 5. Now take this with a grain of salt because this is my personal review of how I feel about the game. I'm pretty sure you guys have different opinions about this game. This game's been out for almost a week, so I do want to talk about this game a little bit and just to share my thoughts on it. And, you know, if, in case you guys want to buy it or if you're just curious on what my thoughts are, then, you know, Let's get into it. I'm not going to be like one of those, you know, reviewers like IGN or anything that talks about, you know, just, oh, this is what the game did wrong. Or I mean, I might do that, but I'm not going to go like, or credit and score, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to be doing my personal thoughts on how many times I played the game and stuff like that. So, first off, uh, I haven't been uploading for a little bit. I just want to get that out of the way. Just because I have a job, um, in case you guys don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, uh, I did say that I do have a job. I work at a restaurant now, and I'm going to be doing that bef before I go to college. It's a part-time job, and I just want to get, you know, save up money and do some stuff. Probably get some stuff for YouTube and also stuff for my, uh, you know, new life ahead, you know, getting a car and stuff like that. So I haven't been uploading. I'm going to be working pretty much all this week except Monday, so I probably will have a video up Monday. If I don't, then whatever. So, uh, but let's get right into the Far Cry 5 review. Um, for the story, uh, I have not beat the story yet. I have played it with a friend. I have played a little bit of it. Um, he's actually beaten it before I did, which was kind of cool. I didn't realize he would beat it. And the campaign is supposed to be probably the longest campaign of, out of all the Far Cry games. I don't know if this is true. It probably is because you're supposed to kill three lieutenants before you get to the main boss, the father. Uh, I really do think that the story is really interesting. It, like, the fact that we're actually going to, you know, a different country. Like, we're going to America. Unlike Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 and Far Cry Primal that were set in different, like, areas, this is set in an American state. And I thought that was a pretty cool idea to Far Cry 5 for doing this. Uh, when I first you know, heard about it at, I think it was E3, when they announced this game, I really liked it, I thought, that's a pretty cool setting, and I'm gonna see where that takes place, um, I do like the fact that the whole entire campaign is co-op, so you could do the entire campaign with a friend, so that, that's cool, because co-op has been kind of weird, um, for the Far Cry games, I mean, Far Cry 3, you had this kind of weird four-player co-op mode, which had its own story, but was kind of, not good and then in far cry 4 we had the you could play the story with co-op you can't really do like the whole entire story you can do like side missions and side activities with a friend but in this game you could do the whole entire thing with with a friend so you can do the side missions you can do the main missions you can do everything your friend can experience the story with you so it's actually pretty cool to have a friend with you and, you know, it's more fun, honestly. I feel like Far Cry does really do good with the co-op. And it's just having fun with a friend in the open world and messing around. Um, in terms of uh, a lot of things they did, uh, I really like the fact that they brought back weapons, you know, things from the other Far Cry games, uh, what makes it unique and what makes Far Cry actually, like, a Far Cry game, like, from 3 to 5. So that's what I really enjoy. And, yeah. Excuse me, hold on. Boop. Excuse me. I might have to cut that part out. But for now, uh, I just think that this game has a really good detail. And obviously, this is the first week of coming out. Um, at the time I'm posting this video, no patches have came out yet. No updates or, you know, hot fixes have came out yet for this game. Uh, so we're still waiting on that. And the other thing is the... Uh, Arcade mode, uh, which is basically the map editor and multiplayer combined. Uh, I really think this is a good idea because it gives people freedom to create their own multiplayer maps or, you know, adventure maps, whether you can play them solo or co-op. Um, I really like that fact. I'm pretty sure it was in Far... I know it was in Far Cry 4. I don't know if it was in Far Cry 3, but I know I used it in Far Cry 4. Uh, the map editor was super fun. Everybody got creative and created their, you know, events in Far Cry 4, but now people can create their full-fledged multiplayer maps that play, I can't speak right now, players can play 
in a public match, so whether you're playing Team Deathmatch or a regular Deathmatch, you can play those custom player maps. Uh, there's not a whole lot, because again, this is probably like, what, the first week of the game coming out. Not a lot of people, you know, people are starting to get it, so we gotta, you gotta wait for that. Um, yeah, but along with the, the multiplayer, uh, it's kind of broken, honestly, I, I will give it that. Uh, I mean, it's, it is the first week, and, you know, stuff is, you know, supposed to be broken at some points, but, like, the hit detection, the, uh, I don't know, the weapons being somewhat underpowered or overpowered, uh, it's just got some problems, so hopefully that gets figured out within the next couple weeks or months of the game, so, and I don't know why I kept saying that, but, <laughs> yeah, I really do hope that the game, you know, gets updates to fix all the problems that the multiplayer is having at the moment, so I really would do want to see that. Anyway, um, I did buy the $30 season pass. Um, the thing I was kind of worried about for this game before it came out was that they already announced, um, what the DLC packs are, um, which was kind of strange because when you see games that announce their DLC pack before, like, or their DLC packs before their game is actually released, it's kind of a strange sign, to be honest, because if you think about it, like, Call of Duty, for example, doesn't, like, announce their DLC packs, like, they know they're getting four DLC packs with the season pass, but they don't know what they contain. Obviously, they have multiplayer maps, and then a zombies map, but what, like, what multiplayer maps are we fighting in, or what zombies map are we playing in? That's the surprise element, and we don't know what's going to happen next, so that that's the cool thing about it, and I really like, like that, but, I mean, Destiny 2 did this um, when they announced Destiny 2. Uh, they already announced the expansion packs, which were kind of weird because, like, why would you announce it before the game even comes out? You don't know if the game's going to be good. But this game, I think, is actually a really good game, uh, whether you play it by yourself or with a friend or if you play in the multiplayer. Um, you'll have fun, honestly. There's a lot of cool things, a lot of good upgrades. Um, I really like the fact that they got the upgrade system good, so you can get perk points doing certain challenges, and you can spend the perk points on, you know, upgrades, like reload speed, um, allies, uh, you know, ammo, and stuff like that. Stuff like that that was in the other Far Cry games that really makes it unique, and, uh, I really like the fact that it did that, you know? So, yeah, this Far Cry was something I was really looking forward to when it first got announced because I'm a huge fan of the Far Cry games. I've played Far Cry 4. I didn't play Far Cry Primal just because I didn't really enjoy, you know, the, the caveman setting. I, I knew it was a cool, you know, place to take it, but at the same time, it just didn't interest me. I mean, I played Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4, and I heard a lot of people online were just saying, you know, oh, oh my phone rang. Uh, anyway, um, I just, you know, people were saying, like, play Far Cry 3 or Far Cry 4, honestly. You're gonna have a lot more fun with that than Far Cry Primal, because Far Cry Primal doesn't even have multiplayer or co-op. You're just playing it solo. I mean, the whole point of Far Cry is to play it with a friend or do multiplayer. That's what Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 were able to do, and that's what made those games well. So, Far Cry Primal, it, it wasn't my, you know cup of tea or whatever so but i did play far cry 3 which is one of my favorite games and then i played far cry 4 and then now far cry 5 which brought everything back which fans loved uh yeah it was really good um if i had to give this game a rating i would definitely give it um an 8 out of 10 honestly i mean there is some stuff that can be fixed down the road um i can't wait to see what the dlc packs are like, are like when they get um released uh, and I can't wait for Far Cry 3's Classic Edition, uh, which is like a basically like a remaster coming to the next-gen consoles. And I'm glad Ubisoft's not pulling an Activision where you have you have to get the season pass in order to get this game because it will be released as a standalone game, Far Cry 3 Classic Edition, um, in June. And, and but season pass owners get it in May. Um, I mean, that's cool. I really don't mind it, and I'm really glad that they said that it's going to be standalone, that you don't have to get the season pass. You could just wait until it's a standalone game. So I'm glad that they're doing that. Um, it's a really good business deal uh, to go back and play Far Cry 3. Um, I mean, like I said, Far Cry 3 was definitely one of my favorite games. Uh, I love the story. I love the atmosphere. The open world was amazing. 
you know, I loved playing it. I played it so much on the PS3, and then I played it on uh, PlayStation Now, um, which was kind of, oh my god, I'm getting text that shut up phone. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's my two cents for Far Cry 5, um, for what I have so far. Like I said, I haven't completed the story yet, but from what I'm seeing, it's actually a pretty interesting story. Um, it does take a while to beat, uh, but if you can do it, I bet you can do it pretty fast. I mean, I did the planning, the, the reason why I didn't upload any videos when Far Cry 5 came out is because if I wanted to do a walkthrough, I kind of went late because people were already, there was already endings posted because people got it early. So I was like, no, there's no point in putting a walkthrough just because the, the game already has its ending in and people already solved this 10 minute you know, secret ending in the beginning of the game. Same thing that Far Cry 4 did. So, I was like, nah, I'll just do, like, funny stuff. If I see something funny or something, I'll post it and, you know, edit it and stuff. That's what I want to do for Far Cry 5. But that's just my review for Far Cry 5. Um, like, again, I don't really do reviews. I'm not pr probably not good at them. But, yeah, um, I do plan to have a video posted tomorrow uh, because I don't work tomorrow, but I do work, like, pretty much the rest of the week of my spring break, which kind of sucks because spring break is like a break from school, but it's not a break from work. So uh, don't be expecting so many videos, but I'm not quitting YouTube. That That's just one thing. Uh, this is not April Fool's thing. People have been posting so many April Fool's videos. Uh, I'm not. I'm not one of those people that do that. So that's my review for Far Cry 5. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you want more reviews of different games. Uh, I will see you guys later. Peace.